hello, I'm Richard Hartley, the Dean of Graduate Studies for the College of Science and Engineering here at the University of Glasgow. The College of Science and Engineering has six schools in it. It has geographical and earth sciences, engineering, computing science. It has mathematics and statistics, my own school of chemistry, physics and astronomy, and the Scottish University's Environmental Research Centre. We have a thousand postgraduate students in the College of Science and Engineering, but each one is tremendously supported by a supervisor, a second supervisor, and by the college graduate school itself. The graduate school actually will support you in all areas of your life, right down from the supervisors and the second supervisors, all the way to helping you with visas, helping you if you have problems with your health, directing you to the right places for support. We are there for you. Let me tell you a bit about chemistry. So chemistry is my own school, and we do a whole range of things, including nanoscience and chemical biology and heterogeneous catalysis. You name it, we do it. But I'd like to tell you about something which is particularly exciting me at the moment. And that is work actually by a graduate student who has developed a way of detecting life through complexity, looking for complex molecules and saying, oh, that sort of complexity can only arise from life. And NASA are going to use this in order to check for signatures of life over the whole universe we get to. I like the environment. I like the facilities. And I met my supervisor, Dr. Mark Symes, who was very helpful and friendly. And uh, it's not only him because all the lecturers, I like their way of teaching. I like the library and I still like it. It's a very nice library, like plenty of places to stay and even relax actually and hang out with friends in the library. Can you believe that? One of the great strengths in Glasgow is engineering. It's historically a fantastic strength. Well, we're better to begin than with James Watt, but it's currently a great strength. So think of aerospace engineering. We've got the National Wind Tunnel facility here in Glasgow. We also do nanoscale engineering and we've got the Nanofabrication Centre, again, a national facility here in the university. We've got biomedical research, absolutely leading biomedical research. My background is in biomedical engineering and my PhD is also in biomedical engineering, but in rehabilitation engineering. So I work with what is called brain compu computer interfaces. And in our group, we try to devise therapies for people with spinal cord injury. It's a mix of um, mechanical, electrical electronics and a bit of medicine as well. The School of Mathematics and Statistics has the wonderful things that you'd expect for pure mathematics, of course, geometry, topology, algebra, etc. We also have applied maths, mathematical models for biology and other areas. And of course, statistics, an area of particular importance to us in these days of COVID-19. But I'd like to highlight something that's equally important, and that's statistical methods used for looking at water quality that developed in this school. A fantastic spatio-temporal uh, statistical model was developed that allowed the UK to look at its water quality in its rivers over a 15-year period. So looking at that both in time and in space and being able to show what interventions will be necessary. A brilliant application of maths and statistics. My research uh, topic is based on the analysis of medical image data, uh, PET specifically, for long tumor delineation and detection. I also want to do something uh, that is practical, because uh, in statistics, such a like, theoretical subject, I want to do something like to combine the theory of statistics and practical uh, applicants. So I think uh, medical uh, image analysis would be a very good choice for me. It's quite exciting, isn't it? Like to see that your work will be adopted by lots of like uh, doctors, like in a hospital, maybe save others' life. Well, wow, that's uh, that's so exciting. One area of particular strength at the University of Glasgow is our computing science, and I'll tell you a wee story about web real-time communication. 
graduate students working with academics have come up with really important circuit breakers and congestion control on feedback in video conferencing and video live streaming, which are being used worldwide and incorporated into commercial programs. The School of Geographical Earth Sciences at the University of Glasgow is exceptionally well known. It's world leading. And we look at a whole range of stuff. We look at the Earth, at its dynamics. We look at oceans, toxicity in oceans. We look at behaviours, spreads of diseases, all the possible things that you can imagine that involve the movements of peoples, the changing of the landscape. And in our human geography, we look at human behavioural effects on the landscape. The School of Physics and Astronomy has a wide range of research. And one area that's been in the news recently is our contribution to the discovery of gravitational waves. Now, I find this simply mind-blowing. Gravitational waves showing us how many collisions between black holes can be discovered in a single year. We also have research on condensed matter. And uh, another area of particular strength is imaging and photonics. The University of Glasgow has the Scottish University's Environmental Research Centre, which is internationally known as a centre for geochemistry, for radiochemistry and for biogeoscience. So as well as the training that you'll get with your supervisor in your research area, we provide training that allows you to transfer your knowledge into a much wider sphere of influence. So things like communication skills, writing, innovation, managing data. We cover the whole range of skill sets that you will need going forward in your careers. There are lots of like, it's called PGR development uh, training schemes. So there are lots of courses that you can do. We did get a bunch of training in public engagement and training in CPR. And I did also a micro-credential course that was um, offered by the university in project management. I feel like some of them are helpful on the spot, like public engagement. You go out of the course and you're like, oh, I'm going to sign up to a bunch of stuff. And I know right now what I can do better than what I did. And there's this stuff that's useful in the long run, like um, the course in project management. Uh, that's helped me realize that maybe I like other things that are not necessarily research based. Being a PGR is more like a um, personal adventure. It's like because you don't have classmates anymore. And yeah, but it's exciting because you, you, you will make your mind work and to think creatively and independently. And it's really like satisfying when I solve those small challenges on my own. We have fantastic links with industry in our centers of doctoral training. Um, we have companies who've invested at the University of Glasgow in sponsoring PhD students and will have placements on site doing research that is relevant to them. And it's not just in these centers of doctoral training. We have a matched funding scheme, which means that we have industry and academia working together, again, in areas that interest industry. There are IK studentships, which are another way of funding um, research at the interface between industry and academia. So when you apply for a PhD at University of Glasgow, and I guess everywhere, um, you need to have your own research proposal. So you can either, usually the case is that you speak to um, someone you identify as a potential supervisor and work out what your research proposal should be, and then you write that up um, and try and match it to what um, the project you want to do is. It's important to apply as early as possible because uh, for us international students, it may take a uh, lot of time uh, to apply for a visa and to put everything in place. It's also important to for you to check out whether your uh, research interests match with the, our uh, research areas of our uh, university uh, and you can check this out online on our web page um, and also to uh, talk with your 
potential supervisor as much as you can to see like if you two uh, fit for each other. I've been here for seven years now. Um, I mean, it is a really nice, lovely city and it's got lots to offer. And there's still lots to, I'm surprised at how much I still discover about the city having been here for so long. Um, and yeah, uh, the university has students from all over the world. So that's a really good thing as well, because you get exposed to, you get to meet people from everywhere and you're not just in your bubble. I love the city. It has like a nice weather, actually, like for many people, like it's rainy, I know. But uh, for me, like I'm from Saudi Arabia, rain is rare, I can tell, but so I like it when I, mean, I, 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 I arrived here. And it ha Glasgow City has plenty of places to relax and to take a break. So I can end by saying this place, Glasgow City, is a very good place, a nice place to live and to study as well. So why would I encourage you to undertake research here at the University of Glasgow? Well, do you want to be the person who discovers something first? Do you want to be the person who makes a device that changes people's lives? Do you want, when people look up the stars, to know something new that they could not have conceived before without you? The thrill of a researcher is to discover something new. And that is what you do during a PhD research. As well as the thrill, it makes you wonderfully employable. You will be managing your own research. Of course, you have your supervisor, but you will be looking after your time. You will be project managing what you do with support, but doing it yourself. You will be conceptualizing. You'll be using mathematical skills. You will be using computers. Basically, you will become out of a PhD, highly skilled. Some people say even more skilled for business than a business degree. As well as that, you will be moving into maybe a career in industry with that name doctor in front of you that gives you the authority to lead. You are the bedrock of the science we produce. You are the drivers of what is new, exciting and world-changing.